I am Dr. Shoibal Moikli. I am the adjunct professor and senior consultant in the division of allergy and immunology at Apollo Multispeciality Hospital, Kolkata. Today I would like to speak on the allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis is a very common problem all over the world and so like that in India too. Patients usually come with symptoms of rhinitis what these are like sneezing, runny nose, blocked nose, headache, watering of the eyes, redness of the eyes and usually the symptoms occur off and on and they can stay on all the months. So accordingly we say whether this rhinitis is an intermittent problem or it's a year-long problem. But whatever it is, whether it's an intermittent or a year-long problem, it's very important to understand the triggers of the rhinitis and to control them totally. Why? Because first and foremost, it causes a lot of disturbance in the day-to-day -day activities and can decrease the quality of life. And on the other hand, if not well treated, it can progress and cause more serious diseases like allergic asthma. Usually the mainstay of the treatment is use of the inhaled intranasal steroids that is the nasal sprays which has to be taken regularly and that too on the prescription of a physician with proper monitoring and guidance. Apart from that there are many antihistamines like the anti-allergic nasal sprays and tablets which can be taken on an off and on basis to reduce the symptoms. But most important is to understand that what are the triggers of the rhinitis in a particular patient and to understand the triggers at times we might need to do some allergy tests mainly to find out what are the aeroallergens or the airborne allergens which is causing the symptoms aeroallergens are namely like the house dust mites they can be the pollen grains in the air they can be the fungal spores or they can be any pet animal danders like the cat dander, dog dander or they, they, they can be any other substances in the air like the particulate matters and anything which brings out the symptoms in the particular patient. It's important to understand that this airborne or particles which can be some insect particles also like the cockroach they usually tend to be in our surroundings all the time so they usually cause the persistence of the disease and progression of the disease. So that is how our body reacts to these external substances and giving rise to the symptoms that we see in patients with allergic rhinitis. If we can find out that what is the triggers in a particular patient, some patients usually benefit from a very specialized treatment strategy which we call an allergen immunotherapy. And with this allergen immunotherapy along with the medications which given regular basis like the nasal sprays, this brings about the reduction in how the patient will respond to that particular allergen in the atmosphere. So this is like we give a house dust mite allergen immunotherapy, we might give some pollen immunotherapy in that particular patient and these are usually the series of injections which we call as allergy shots. Nowadays we have some sublingual formulations also which can be taken under the tongue. The beauty of this treatment is that this is the only treatment which can actually change the biology or the course of this disease so that the patient comes out of the use of the nasal sprays as and they can lead a disease free life. Number one and number two is that it halts the progression of the disease to a more severe diseases like the asthma. And this form of treatment can be given to very young children and also the adults. Usually the young children benefit better with this treatment. So it's very important that we understand that how is this disease in a particular patient, evaluate them and then we start the patient on a particular treatment. And this will go a long way in reducing the suffering from this disease and also prevent the disease from progressing to more serious forms of other allergic diseases. Thank you.